guys, Harry here from TechPlanet30.com. Wanted to talk to you today about the Windows Phone 7 and Samsung's Focus. Um, now, obviously, I'm not a Windows user, uh, or sorry, Windows Phone 7 user. Uh, I haven't had the, um, I haven't had the privilege to to buy one or use one or anything at all like that yet. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm not speaking from a um, a user's point of view. However. There's been quite a lot of reports going around about the Windows Phone 7 and the, the hardware in it. Now, the, I, within the Windows Phone 7, um, the, the Samsung Focus in particular, at the back there's an SD card, or micro SD card. Now, when you open the phone up and you look in where the micro SD card slot is, there's a, a small sticker on the back of it saying stop, refer to the quick start manual uh, before removing it. Now, um, Microsoft have come forward and said under no circumstances must you remove this card because if you do so uh, it's highly possible that it's going to damage the phone uh, and also there's a strong possibility that you'll lose all your data on the phone as well. Now in their policy, this is part of their policy, they are saying that, that you, you mustn't do this and also in part of the policy it also states that the only people that should be tampering around with the, the micro SD card is the original manufacturer of the device or the the network carrier. Well the problem about that is in America AT&T are refusing to touch the cards. They're, you know, So if you take the phone in and you want to upgrade it to a higher card for storage or something like that, which I should imagine is the reason why Microsoft went down that route in any case. They, were, they put a removable storage on there so that people could upgrade their, their hard drive or their storage capacity within the phone quite easily as opposed to the way Apple done it which is kind of like a, a closed storage system so anyway no I so I should imagine then that a lot of Windows Phone 7 users are kind of like a little bit baffled as to well why did you put that in there in the first place if you're telling us now that we can't take it out and upgrade it or fix it or anything like that and apparently it's got something to do with if you would put like a slower um, micro SD card in there that it's obviously going to t have problems with the operating system that type of thing but the general rule is you must not take this card out or you know just take it out remove it or replace it or anything at all like that so that's a little bit odd one thing I do I am quite curious about this story these reports is uh, I wonder given a couple of days will the Windows Phone 7 this issue will it you know um, receive as much bad publicity as the antenna did on the iPhone 4. Um, now I know that the, the two things are slightly different. One you couldn't use the phone which it is a phone and the other one um, it, you can still use the phone but it's but nevertheless Microsoft and the, the mobile carriers as well have touted this as a feature. You know they've said that the the, the micro SD card is, is a part of the feature of the of the phone but it's a feature you can't use so I wonder will they receive bad publicity from the tech media about this and if they do I wonder are they going to go down and hold a press conference and then start issuing out something in form of compensation for those people that maybe bought the phone uh, with with the, the the knowledge that they were going to upgrade that SD card that micro SD card so just curious about that I would like to know what you guys think about that the other thing is as well Microsoft have yet to come out with any figures about sales in terms of the, the, the phones that have been sold with the operating system on it. Now, there's lots of different reasons why they could have done this. I know different companies work in different ways. All, you know, There's all sorts of different methods for doing things. Apple released figures of the first day of sales on the iPad and the iPhone 4 and then they released like the first month sales. Now, I should imagine that one of the reasons they've done that was because sales were extraordinarily fantastic. Uh, had the sales have been really quite bad then maybe Apple wouldn't have been so quick to come forward with sales figures. Which then begs the question is this the reason why Microsoft are dragging their heels a little bit with figures or is it just a simple case that they haven't actually got around to collating them yet. Or maybe it's just not their policy to release figures this early on in the game. I don't know but it does seem a little bit strange. Uh, but what I would like to see Microsoft doing is there are reports circulating that on the first day of the i or sorry on the first day of Microsoft 
uh, the Windows Phone 7 phones being sold, the sales figures are in and around something like 40,000 units combined. As opposed to Apple's iPhone 4 pre-order sales of 600,000. So, if the reports are correct, then Apple sold 600,000 units before the phones had even got out onto the shelves, whereas Microsoft on the first day of launch only managed to sell 40,000 units. Now, like I say, these reports aren't confirmed by Microsoft, but what I would like to see is, is Microsoft stepping forward and saying yes or no, one way or the other, are these reports correct or are they not? Or what do you guys think? Do you think maybe uh, it would be beneath Microsoft to come forward and um, quash these, these claims, these reports? And you know, Do you think that it's better that Microsoft just stay away from it all and just say, oh, you know, listen, this is just rumour monger and just leave it alone? Or do you think, as I do, that Microsoft should come forward and say something about these? Anyway, guys, leave your comments down below. Thanks very much for all your support, as usual. Uh, I couldn't do any of this without you guys. Uh, I've been receiving some fantastic emails from you on techplanet30.com uh, and I'm really, really touched at the, the generosity and the kind comments that are coming from all you guys. Uh, and it, it really is, uh, I find it astonishing that you are enjoying the website so much. Although I'm finding it astonishing, I'm absolutely loving it at the same time. So thank you very much guys for all your support, look forward to seeing you in the next video and don't forget, leave your comments down below, let me know what you think in a video response or of course you can go across and uh, leave some comments at uh, techplanet30.com, I've written an article about that over there as well, or you can send me a tweet on Twitter at iHarrison30. Thanks very much guys, look forward to seeing you in the next video, bye.